back to my channel if you're new here welcome and you chose the best vlog to tune in and join my channel for because this is my birthday vlog you guys the weather is so nasty i'm a little behind schedule i was supposed to be in jacksonville way before dark and it's not completely dark but it's after eight and i was supposed to be here around six so thank god i made it here safely y'all about to go over the bridge so i'm not gonna talk for too long i just wanted to kick off the vlog let y'all know i made it to jacksonville and it's about to go down from here if y'all not familiar with jacksonville it is my hometown i was raised here i live in atlanta i'm passing through jacksonville to meet up with my friend and from there me and her will be enjoying our birthday so i'm gonna vlog everything i'm gonna try I'm gonna try. Let me not make no promises, but I'm meeting up with my friend, the uh, mother of my god kids. Her birthday is two days after my um, my birthday is the sixth. Hers is the eighth. We always celebrate our birthdays together. I said I was not gonna vlog over this bridge, and here I am, y'all driving over a bridge. I remember a time where I would not even get behind the wheel if it consisted of me driving over a bridge. Now I'm vlogging over a bridge. Lord, just be with me, okay? I'm that dedicated to getting this vlog for y'all. But I gotta do it while I, while it's on my mind, y'all. I'm about to meet up with my friends soon. And we'll be hitting the road after a while to kick off our weekend, our week. Some way, somehow, we're gonna try to make the best of it. Um, Elsa is trying to come through and ruin the plans, but we're gonna find a way to have some fun. Um, when I come back into Jacksonville, we're celebrating my uncle's birthday. His birthday is actually today. He turned 50 today. But since it's a Monday, we decided to uh, push his party into July 10th. So Saturday, when I get back from my whole festivities, we throw on my uncle a party. That might be in this vlog as well. Ain't no telling. Y'all just stay tuned for whatever. I just wanted to let y'all know I made it to Jacksonville and it is up from here. <laughs> no. <laughs> since you want to film me, I'm going to record you. <laughs> my mom was encouraging me to stop by and see her and my stepdad all day before meeting my friend and going on my trip and then when I came over they had gifts set up for me just got off the road y'all yeah just got off the road and she's starting if you didn't know now you know folks don't let you get right yeah <laughs> what are we choosing to happy birthday go cancel the crabs <laughs> So when I started the vlog, y'all, I was supposed to stop through Jacksonville and then go meet my friend. But I ended up coming to my mama's house, having a couple drinks. She had gifts and stuff, and now I'm too tired. I spent about five and a half hours on the road. I told y'all my trip was a little longer than expected because of the weather. So I've been on the road since earlier this afternoon, and... After a couple of drinks, I don't feel, I don't feel like driving to my friend's house. She's about 45 minutes from where my mama stays. So I would have to get back in the car right now and then drive to her house. And we ain't going to do nothing but go to bed because we can't check into our room until tomorrow afternoon. So I'm just going to go ahead and get ready for bed and just start over tomorrow. Um, my birthday is in like one hour, y'all. It's 11 something. I'm trying to hang. The plan was to at least hang till midnight, but I'm exhausted, so won't be no countdown in this vlog, y'all. I'm going to sleep, and I'll talk to y'all first thing in the morning. <clears throat> Good morning, y'all. I got up early. I set my alarm for 6 because I was supposed to get up and curl my hair, but I looked out the window and decided not to. I'm just going to wait for tonight. Um, Hopefully, if the weather is nice tonight, I'll finally style my hair. i just been hesitant about curling it. Um, because I want to do some really cute wand curls, something bouncy and cute, and I don't want to be out in the humidity or in the rain and it fall. Wand curls are a lot of work to me because that's just not my thing. But I'm supposed to be going to breakfast when my boyfriend found out that I was going to be in Jacksonville an extra night because I was supposed to just pass through, meet up with my friend, and he was going to let me do the girl thing, and then me and him was going to celebrate later this week but when he found out that we wasn't leaving right away me and him made plans to go out for breakfast this morning so i was gonna get up and curl my hair to go to breakfast with him but he didn't see me at my worst my best and everything in between so i'm going just like this <laughs> but right now i'm just opening my cards for my mom because even though she had everything laid out for me last night i um it wasn't my birthday yet so i didn't open everything so my mom and my stepdad had me a little something set up when I got here. As soon as they found out that I was going to be in Jacksonville, um, they made sure they had something for me and it was really, really sweet. 
So I'm gonna open the card from her and my stepdad. Everything has to be perfect, y'all. It says, daughter, you are a blessing. When you have a daughter who makes you proud, makes you laugh, and very often makes your day, you know what joy is. Oh. When you have a daughter who is a good person with a gracious heart and a gorgeous spirit, you know what peace is. That, oh my God, that is so sweet. When you have a daughter whose beauty inside and out is only matched by her compassion for others, you know what love is. OMG, this card is powerful. Hold on, I gotta run it back. Hold on, y'all. I really like to take the time to appreciate cards. Daughter, you are a blessing. When you have a daughter who makes you proud, makes you laugh, and very often makes your day, you know what joy is. Wow. Because I have you for my daughter, I know what it is to truly be blessed. Happy birthday. My mom wrote, love you always. Enjoy your day. May God continue to richly bless you and protect you, mommy. And then my stepdad wrote, love always. Pop, pop. Happy birthday. Enjoy your day. They put my birthday at the top. And I got a $50 Visa card. Y'all, I got a bag full of gifts as well. But I told y'all I'm going to do a video. When I did my Get Ready With Me, um, the video before this, I told y'all I'm going to do a video specifically for gifts. So every gift will be in um, a separate video. Right now, I'm just opening cards. They did get me gifts, though. And then let me open this other card. They got me two cards. This one is cute. Now this is me all the way. Purple again and shiny and glittery. Happy birthday, happy birthday from Pop Pop. I will always love you. My mom and my stepdad signed it. I don't know which card I like the best. Both of them had very powerful messages. And in that card, they gave me $60. I wasn't expecting this with the gifts, but they still gave me money. I love y'all. I know y'all gonna watch this. Thank y'all so much. My mama and my stepdaddy are two of my biggest fans, y'all. They watch all my videos. Get y'all parents who support y'all. Make y'all parents support y'all. It don't matter what I'm doing. They're going to support. Oh, people make, mentioning me in their stories. I got to go um, repost y'all birthday shout outs. This card is from my sister Trill and her girlfriend Q. It says... Age and glasses of wine should never be counted. Whoa. <laughs> Go, Brittany. It's your birthday. Go, Brittany. Y'all are trying to read. Go, Brittany. It's Mommy, your I'm vlogging. <laughs> I love you, girlie. You're supposed to be getting ready for work. Yeah, I am going to keep <laughs> Happy birthday, girl. Coco, you gonna tell me happy birthday? Hey, mama. She don't do me, y'all. Well, get out then if you ain't gonna say happy birthday. I had to mute this clip because clearly we have in car karaoke, but I finally got with my friend and we made it to Tampa and we spent the first night in Tampa. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, he just uh, took it upon himself. Okay. Yeah, after the fact. You know, I already did it now. It's not my first open. Right. As we were checking in, the hotel staff and a lot of the people that were in Tampa visiting kept ranting and raving about this storm that was passing through. We decided to go to Tampa first before going to Miami, over Miami, because everybody kept saying the storm was headed for Miami. But when we got to Tampa, everybody was saying that the storm had redirected into Tampa. So I spent the first half of my day at this lounge called Truth just to get some hookah. It didn't serve alcohol, but they had beer and wine. So we got some wine smoked some hookah, hung out. It was a really nice place, but it was just me and my friend there. Literally no one else came into the bar the entire time because everybody was afraid of the storm. I was introduced to these hookah lollipops that you just insert into the hookah holes and you get to suck on the flavor as you smoke. He had game systems set up. The owner was playing games 
Um, we got to watch TV, track the storm, listen to music, and just vibe and party um, by ourselves. We literally had the whole place to ourselves. So it was a good time. It wasn't what I expected for my birthday, but it worked out due to the circumstances of the weather being bad. So at this point, it is still my birthday, you guys. After we left the hookah lounge, we decided to come back and get dressed up for dinner. The original plan was to bar hop, club hop, go to Eber City and see what type of club vibe we could find. But, but due to the rain, we couldn't do an outdoor activity like that. So I decided just to put on my birthday jumpsuit, put some curls in my hair, a little makeup, and go out for dinner. Um, we took a few shots, went out for dinner, and that was really my birthday. The next morning, we got up and decided just to leave Tampa all together and go to Miami. I didn't record the actual storm, but this is the aftermath. The next day, it was really windy, a few clouds in the sky, and we just decided that even if it did clear up, we didn't want to be in Tampa anymore. We got back in contact with the hotel we originally booked with in Miami and set new reservations and got out of Tampa. All right, you guys, it is day two. We're checking out of Tampa and heading to Miami. I still gotta brush my hair out. Say hi, Nishi. Hi, everyone. How are you all today? <laughs> she do a lot. She do a lot. <laughs> but yeah, we're we're heading out of Tampa. It's really windy. More rain coming today, so we're heading out. You got us? It's in here. You did, did you guys um, make the reservation today? Yeah. Like early this morning? Yeah. Okay, so it's not going to be here. Okay. All right. Okay. Like oh, a couple hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. the hotel only has valet. Yeah, we know. It's 46 a night. 46 a night. Okay. Yeah. It goes through the road. Oh, you can? Oh, okay. Thank you. Cool. Okay, so the first segment of the vlog was a little dry, but we found sunshine in Miami. And when I tell y'all it is up from here, it is up from here. We chose a beautiful hotel, which I'm walking you through right now. Um, beautiful scenery, beautiful furniture, very modern. Bars on every corner of the hotel, literally. Several bars near the pool, bars within the hotel, lounges, cafe. Literally everything we really needed was in the hotel. So many areas to take pictures. They know people come to Miami to show out. They set up so many different areas around this hotel where you can get a lot of nice pictures, swings, cabanas, um, neon lights, just beautiful, beautiful scenery. I cannot complain. I have no complaints about this Shelburne. They had little privacy areas set up with swings and cabanas for you to rent out if you wanted like a little private space by the pool. Then the hotel had a backyard. The backyard had a bar, a lot of picture places where you could um, take Insta photos. Then after you walk through the backyard, you walk straight onto the beach. Literally we had beach access from the back of our hotel. You take this path right here and literally the beach is right there. Um, right now, I'm just showing y'all around the beach and then I'm walking y'all back through the backyard of the hotel. After we toured the hotel and seen what all the grounds had to offer, we decided to go get some food and drinks because we made it to the hotel at about 2 p.m. and check-in wasn't until 3, so we had about an hour until our room was ready. The hotel held our luggage and we went down the street to get some food. And when I tell you the service and everything was amazing, I got loaded nachos, my friend got steak. And we so the bartender just found out that Nisha's birthday is tomorrow. So she's gonna give her a free shot of Don Julio on the house. What free means on the house, y'all. I'm a little tipsy. But yeah, today, <laughs> today is the seventh. Mine was the sixth, hers is the eighth. So this is our little in-between day. Oh, they're bringing your steak, Nisha. Steak? Yes, for the lady, for the birthday girl. For the yes. birthday girl. Uh-oh. Thank you. Thank you. It looks good. 
And the other one was Patron? The white. No, Patron the white. This girl didn't order two shots. Y'all, I'm done. I don't need nothing else, but she didn't got a shot of white and a shot of brown. She mixing at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, who does that? We're not gonna make it out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, this girl has had Don Julio up there, Casamigos, and Patron. Who the fuck gonna check me? Oh, this is a vlog. <laughs> this is a vlog, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. We yeah. like you. I like you. Okay. I want the closest you want window. Some yeah, you got a partial. Yeah, but that's what we wanted. That's what we want. It smells so much better than what we was at before. What the room was fine? Yeah, we was at um it's even big, but it's nicer. Yeah. We are going to the pool. It's dark right here, y'all. We buy the bars and stuff. I don't know. It's beautiful there in the neck. We ain't seen beautiful weather like this yet. So we decided to come back out to the beach, y'all, because it, was, it wasn't really much to do. Um, up until we get ready to go out tonight. The beach attacked me too much earlier. Nisha loved water. <laughs> it's a cruise ship in the bag. She living her best life. Wave, Nisha. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what this man doing, but he is clowning. He is clowning on this. <laughs> what is he doing? Huh? Girl, yeah. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> he fishing for something. What is he going on with that piece of cloth? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Wait. And then he gonna go fish for it, y'all. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he ain't gonna get his claw? Oh, 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 uh oh. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> his claw up here. Y'all, I don't know. I, I really don't know. And then here go Nisha. <laughs> <laughs> no! He found it. He found it. Oh no, that's seaweed. Where his clothes? He's fishing for something, man. He's putting it all over his body. I don't know what's going on. When I tell y'all he love the beach, wait, wait, wait. Because at this point, you don't love the beach that much. You do not love it that much out here. What is going on? is gonna hurt himself what is it about the beach got you acting like that yeah i would do a whole vlog on this man alone he has been entertaining me this entire time and look at her got seaweed all over her she in a bed of seaweed swim to the top coming off you just swam right into a whole pile of it and you should get out of it it's too much going on Look, y'all, I, I don't know at this point. He's sleepy. Yeah, it's so pretty at night, y'all. We coming back off the beach. I think in the last clip I showed y'all that guy who was showing out. But we're back at the room. And it's time to get ready for the night. We thought we were going to get in a hot tub for a little bit, but they kicking us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Tell them how you kicked us out the pool. I had to kick them out, you know what I'm saying? Because and you ruined my friend birthday. And I did not uh -huh. ruin her birthday. Yes, I got something for her. For, uh, matter of fact. Uh-oh. So, excuse the quality, y'all. My, my camera don't know how to act in the dark. There used to be a diving board. They turned it into a waterfall. It really sets a vibe out here. And I would love to get in. When we booked, they said the pool was 24 hours. Um, and clearly it's not. They said that they doing some chemicals and cleaning the grounds and stuff like that and they don't want people in it right now which is understandable but I guess we've been in the water long enough because we've been on the beach but yeah y'all they about to clean stuff up out here and I guess I can vlog a pool scene tomorrow um because I really wanted to show y'all that that's one of the major major things about this hotel and their cafe like it's beautiful I don't know where my friend went Oh, <laughs> I was just talking about you. Where are you at? Where is she? Oh, this girl here is crazy. Taking a long route. Look at that staircase. It's so pretty here, y'all. Oh, he said you can get in for two minutes? Okay, y'all. They said we got two minutes before they come clean. It's Kanisha for me. This girl, you know it go to nine feet, so be careful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't go too far. <laughs> you know, on. It's literally her bending the rules. And they got this whole sign right here. All right, here it says 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. This shit's only 12 hours. Where you get 24 seven from? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all, this is one side of the hotel. But we're up in this tower. I don't know if I showed y'all the view. I might have showed y'all the view when we first checked in. I can't remember, but this is how it looks from the outside. I think this tower is 16 floors and we're on the eighth floor. So we're about halfway up from the bottom. And then they had this extra building right here that gives you like a full, a closer beach view as well as a view of the pool. And we have like a partial view because we're off at the corner of the eighth floor, so. Yeah, I'm just giving y'all another little outdoor tour now that it has gotten dark. You want to go under the water? Both got our crops. It's for after the club. You didn't want to be embarrassed. Thank you. Guys, I didn't vlog much of our night because I just couldn't but I think I vlogged when we left and it was dark outside because it was nighttime. It's morning now. We stayed out until the sun came up. It is 6.35. Just getting in and I'm running off of orange juice, mid cafe, and no sleep. The birthday girl. We made it to our room safely. You guys have never seen me under the influence, I don't think. So this is just a few hours later from when you last seen me when we were first getting in at around 6.30 going on 7. And then we slept till about 11.30. Now we're just having some shots before we get our third day started. Well, our second day in Miami. We're going to take our shot and then we're going to chase it with our bottles of wine. You should got Stella Rosa pineapple and I got. Sweet juice is supposed to be mine too. Yeah, I'm drinking out your bottle right now because I need a chaser. You can have the rest. No, I'm not gonna fight. On, on the video, <laughs> we toast the knees first. Hit the table first. Oh shit. Why he 
get me every time. All right, y'all, we out. Yeah, it was like that. Birthday girl showing up. Oh. <laughs> Heading out to go ride scooters. It's the booty for me. We're trying to rent scooters, y'all. We're trying to go to the museum, but we don't want to walk and we don't want to drive and try to find parking. So we were going to ride scooters. Definitely not in the mood for a workout with this bike. But that's all I see is bikes. I wonder if this thing right here can tell us where the nearest scooter thing is at. Waiting on valet to go get our car. We decided we are not gonna rent scooters because we can't find one. We are going across the street over there to the World Erotic Art Museum, AKA Wing. And we're about to see what nasty exhibits they have. Waiting on the light to change. <laughs> I'm splitting the pole. No. <laughs> so this is a whole building of museums. When they say exotic, they mean exotic, y'all. This museum was very freaky, very nasty. Had a lot of penises and vaginas all over the place. I vlogged the entire museum, but rather than posting it now and having it taken down later because I know it isn't content YouTube would approve of, I only showed little small clips that I thought I might be able to get away with on YouTube. So if you want to check it out, you guys just Google Weem, W-E-A-M, the World Erotic Art Museum, and check out their locations. And I think it was about $25 to tour. It took us about 20 minutes and we were out of there. But yes, a lot of history on sex and our graphic erotic sex exhibits. <laughs> Y'all, we're trying to find something to eat. Our hotel is back there. We parked at the hotel, but now we're just trying to find some food. Hungry. Look <laughs> around. Thank you, Walk. Oh, when do you? Yeah, the way we were studying that menu. Did we check in with her? Okay. Okay, remember to hit those two arrows. Oh, pretty birthday drink. Oh, that's a pretty birthday drink, girl. Thank you. For appetizers, I got calamari with this cocktail hot sauce. And this got chicken strips with honey mustard. It's the nails, girl. <laughs> Not that you wiggling. <laughs> no, I didn't buy eight all my food, but here it is. You sure? Mm -hmm. She don't have. All right, y'all. We are having our pool day. Nisha wants to play Jenga. We should have. How does it feel to be a loser? This is just a random drunk clip that my friend took of me, just tipsy trying to climb the darn unicorn in the hotel's backyard. But after we sat by the pool and played games, we ended up getting back in the beach for a few more hours. Of course, I didn't take the phone into the water, but we enjoyed the beach. Yeah, we have spent the last few hours in the ocean. I mean, no, what I got rolls, what I got lemon. Hello.
last night we're going out for food hanging out my hair is still wet from the beach there's misha <sighs> So we'll check in with y'all when we get food. The second strip club of the trip. This girl just love booty club. We bringing out her birthday. Brought it in in the booty club. Bringing it out in the booty club. Miami owes us nothing. And that's all I'm gonna say on our final day here. We're leaving. Getting on the elevator to check out. And a good time was had by all. And in this clip, we have checked out and we're just waiting on Valet to bring our rental car to the front. Come on, why are you again? We're just having a good time. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a really shit like a rose. Okay, you guys, today is Saturday, July 10th. And I think I told y'all in the beginning of this vlog that I have an uncle whose birthday is the day before mine and he turned 50. And so his birthday was this past Monday. And today we're having his 50th birthday party. So last night I got back in town to Jacksonville, to my hometown, hung out with my family a little bit. And then we got some rest and we started early this morning ripping and running for his party. I'm going to show y'all a little bit of the setup. It is a house party um, in my aunt's yard. I don't want to try to show too much of her neighborhood or, you know, anything like that. So I'm going to do my best to show y'all what we have going on without really showing y'all too, too much. Um, so yeah, let's get into these decorations. I feel like our ideas and everything have been coming to life with this. And I want to close out the vlog with his party with the bang. Um, I know Miami and all of that was a vibe, but I'm all about family too. So I definitely want to squeeze in his little tribute at the end of this video. So I got my watermelon red bull and I'm trying to push through y'all. I am so tight. Y'all know how it be coming off a trip and my body just, I haven't had time to catch up. It's Friday. I started my vacation Monday and I probably had a total of 20 hours of sleep in a 10 day span. Okay y'all, so we are picking up this cake. It should be ready. Here it comes. Let's check and see if it's done right. Great job. Oh my goodness, I can't wait till it get dark. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it's um neon light. Yeah, I got a remote to it. That's gonna be nice. We're gonna have a tribute. Um you wanna hang it here? We're going to have his video tribute right here, a slideshow of all of his pictures from birth till now. Yeah, we have some miniatures in here. Come in, get your miniature shot, beers, wine, liquor. I was supposed to make jello shots, but I've been on the road, y'all. Plenty of ice, plenty of sitting room. I'm going to have hookah set up, maybe like four or five different hookah stations, cards, games, board games. It's going down, y'all. Grease and stuff. It's a fish fry, so we're gonna have fresh fish coming out the grease later. Shrimp fries. Hey, Lulu. Do you know why he want it? Why does he want it? Because he's speeding through town. <laughs> oh, I see him, and he doing a what you call it? A hurt? A hurt? A wheelie. You, a wheelie. And then you got to um, use the ink, the oil paint, and sign your name on here. Oh, that's gonna be nice. You have it already. Okay. What yeah. colors we have? But these these are the ones that I have. No, you see these Yellow, are what mine's at. These mine's. Okay. And uh, we can just yeah. sign our little notes to him and he can keep it. Oh, yeah. I see it'll dry up like that. Okay. Yeah. 
all right so that's what we have right now y'all i gotta get back to the house and finish preparing some stuff get dressed time for my uncle's party um i just stopped by this smoke shop because we're gonna be i told y'all when i showed y'all the setup i think that we're gonna have a hookah station we have about three or four different hookahs that are gonna be going but i don't have any mouth tips for mine i just got a new one for my birthday y'all and i need mouth tips so that when different people are putting their mouth on it they have something so sticking y'all know what i'm talking about if y'all smoke hookah but i'm at this local smoke shop trying to get that so let me see if there's something he can do for me. Hello, how are you? Good. Um, I just need some mouthpieces, like for the, the hookah tips. Oh, okay. Okay. They're five for a dollar for the singles, or you can get a big bag with a hundred for six ninety. Oh, eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Okay. I'll take that. Okay. Is the size okay? Um. These See, are the we'll just swap it. So okay. we've got five of the little ones and then ten of the long ones. Yeah. Do you think the whole? Okay. Separate. That way you've got more options. Okay. I, of the moment, probably just the one. Hose. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Did you want to look around anymore, or did you just need these? Um, that's all I need today. Uh, you do have the alfalfa here. Maybe I could see if I want a different flavor. Okay, I've got it right over that way. Um, I have all of those. Just get in a few new flavors. I have all of the ones with the mint. I want to get something fruity. I have blueberry and mint. Citrus with mint. Let's see. Watermelon with mint. Citrus with mint. Um. I also have. Let's see, that one's blueberry with mint. I have grape with berry. I want to try mango and mojito. Mango and mojito. Mm-hmm. All oh, right. Is Hubbly like a bubble gum? The Hubbly, Hub yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's those gum with cinnamon. So one mango and one mojito. Yes, and they are three for five. Uh, did you want to pick out one more? Oh, okay. Sure. Um, What's your favorite? I actually don't smoke. You don't? Okay. Well, thanks um, for being honest. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, if you like mint, then I'd say the blueberry with mint or watermelon boy. with mint. It's the grand entrance for yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> uncle. <laughs> it's too cool. I didn't vlog much of the party once a lot of my family members started coming in. I wanted to just enjoy my family, but the party was a success. My uncle had a smile on his face the entire time, and I inserted a couple clips. Then the next day on Sunday, my family and I did seafood, so I'm showing you guys my personal tray, but that was my Okay, y'all, I look really, really stupid. I know it. <laughs> but I've been having the time of my life, and it's starting to show. Just a whole lot of wear and tear on my body. But, um... Yeah, tomorrow, today makes a week that I've been on vacation. I left Atlanta last Monday. When I first started this vlog, it was Monday. It is Monday again. So I know this vlog is super long. It's gonna be out of control all over the place, but I wanted to give y'all every bit that I could get as far as this birthday trip goes. Excuse me, 27 has been lovely so far. In case you're wondering, I had an amazing birthday. I just want to come on and give y'all this brief little outro. I'm going to let you guys know I had an awesome time. 
and um right now i'm about to take my mom to brunch i promised her i would take her out to eat before i leave town it's 10 o'clock we'll probably make it to the restaurant by 11 by the time i pick her up brush my hair and um head to the restaurant so i might record a clip at the restaurant to show you guys our food and where we're where we are and stuff um but other than that you guys this is the end of the vlog um i had a great time she gotta walk Coco before we go anywhere. She too busy trying to figure out what's in the grass. Ma, that's cute what you got on. Thank you. Yeah, Coco, on the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> now she got to get to the tire. Hi, Hi pretty girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> We have a straw. Um, Tapestry Park, South South. Hot, hot. Hot, yeah. With the um, <laughs> detox, you need to set that same goal. Okay. Thank you, you so much. Sauce? Um, yes. This is a fried omelet, English muffin, potatoes, banana pasta, crab cake and fried green tomatoes it seemed like it's about to rain ma it seemed like it's about to throw down brunch was amazing another broken egg was very delicious you it guys it was delicious guys you <laughs> should try it the broken egg in jacksonville four Florida locations has, right yes four locations four locations the one we're at is at tapestry park all right of deerwood <laughs> thank you bye bye <laughs> All right, y'all, that concludes the birthday vlog. If you've seen something you like, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part of the vlog was. See you in the next video.